Big fat fluffy bing she says hi. Did she just call me fat? Yep. Today we're going to be talking about feeding ferrets a raw diet. As you may have seen in one of my previous videos, I recently changed all of my ferrets to a raw diet so they no longer get kibble anymore. And the changes that I've seen are incredible. Their coats have turned so beautiful. Sammy is healthy because the whole reason why we changed them onto a raw diet was because he had um, a, an insulinoma weakness episode. So apparently he has insulinoma and that's something that we're dealing with with the vet. But ever since we changed all of them onto a raw diet, uh, they've all been so much healthier. And even Sammy's blood glucose tests came back much higher than when, they f when um, we first tested them. Ah, you're going to fall in a second, Binksy. So today I wanted to share with you what I've been feeding my ferrets exactly and so that you can do the same at home. Because the whole key with the raw diet is to make sure that it's balanced. You can't, ferrets can't just sustain themselves of um, muscle or you know just flesh of an animal. It needs to be a uh, a nutritionally balanced diet um, and they need to make sure that they get a variety of nutrients from different organs and so that's really really important. So today I'm going to tell you what I've been feeding my ferrets and it's very very exciting isn't it? She's gone. <laughs> so this is what um, a menu that I printed out when I first started feeding them raw foods. I went to the Holistic Ferret Forum and they showed me um, a basic Franken Prey menu, which I've printed out. And I'm going to share it with you today because they have graciously allowed me to share all this information with you guys. Um, and it's hopefully so that he, um, anyone else can start feeding their ferrets raw foods as well because the changes that ferrets experience health-wise on a raw food diet are incredible. Aren't they Binksy? Oh look how cute you are. Yeah I'm cute. Yeah I'm pretty cute aren't I? So according to the basic Franken Prey menu you need to give a Monday PM edible bone Monday, sorry, Monday a.m. edible bone, Monday p.m. edible bone, Tuesday a.m. edible bone, Tuesday p.m. muscle meat, Wednesday a.m. edible bone, Wednesday p.m. heart, Thursday a.m. Edible, edible bone, Thursday p.m. edible bone, Friday a.m. edible bone, <laughs> a lot of bone. Friday p.m. muscle meat, Saturday a.m. edible bone, Saturday p.m. muscle meat, Saturday, Sunday a.m. edible bone, Sunday p.m. liver and organs. So what makes up edible bone? Because there's a lot of it that you need to feed your ferrets. Um, and some examples include any bone. So for example, mine get chicken necks as edible bone. So they eat plenty of these every week. Um, and I also find that when they eat chicken necks, the ferrets don't smell as much as when they eat liver or organs or heart even. Um, they tend to smell a lot better when they eat bone. <laughs> Otherwise, I can smell liver through their pores. It's a bit yucky. So that is what I give my ferrets. But you can also give them quail, rabbit, turkey necks, although I found that turkey necks seemed to be a little bit too big for our guys. They couldn't quite get through them. Um, so I tried to mince them up in a blender, <laughs> but it broke. So that wasn't very useful for me. But it's good to mix up their diets and give them a variety of different meats. 
duck neck, ribs and wingtips. Cornish game hen. For the muscle meat, these include any heart meat, chicken including gizzard. I have no idea what gizzard is. I've always wondered what the hell it is. If someone knows, please write it in the comments below and just enlighten me because I have no idea. Turkey, duck, lamb, goat, beef venison, elk, so basically any meat without the bone. And apparently um, some of the darker red meats are a little bit harder for them to digest as well, so it might be good to again have a variety of lighter meats and darker meats. Organ meats include liver, kidneys, pancreas, reproductive organs, lungs, brains, so all of the internal organy type things. And also make sure that um, you give them plenty of fat. Fat is probably one of the most important things for a ferret's diet because it's where they get their energy from. It's how, it's basically the carbohydrate, what carbohydrates are to humans. Carbohydrates give us energy. Um, and the same is for fats when it comes to ferrets. They need fats. So I always try to pick uh, foods and meats that uh, contain more, um, that have more speckled fat all over them. A lot of lamb hearts I fi find are quite fatty as well, so that fat is obviously really good for the ferrets as well. So the key is to give the ferrets as many different varieties of meat as possible, um, just so that they can get a variety of nutrients. So also I include egg yolks most of the time once a week um, and I, I try to give them uh, whole raw food, so mats, uh, mats, mice, mice, chicks, rats, um, quails, whole, so the whole foods as often as I can because obviously it has all the meat, all the organs, all of the bones, all of the muscle, everything that they need in one nice little package. I pref it's best not to feed live because in some countries like Australia where we are here, it is considered animal cruelty. So I would suggest not to feed live animals to your ferrets. It is quite cruel because you don't really tend to give them a chance to run away where in the wild they do have a chance to outmaneuver their predator and run away. In captivity we are you know, people often corner the prey so they don't have a chance whatsoever. And, you know, it, it is just brutal. And please don't feed live animals to your animals. Um, it is animal cruelty and just keep that in mind. Now, obviously, this raw food diet does take a bit of time as well. So what I've been doing, what me and Doug have been doing is we can easily get chicken necks, liver and lamb hearts at Woolies. So basically what we do is we buy one packet of chicken necks and give it to them. And when they finish that, we buy them lamb hearts and give it to them. And once they finish that, we give them liver and give it to them. So we don't really break it down necessarily in the whole schedule like the Franken Prey diet is set out. Um, just for convenience sake as well, we just give them what is available and make sure that they finish all their food just so that it doesn't go to waste. And then obviously we get them other foods as well just to mix up their diet as much as possible. So you can do that. Uh, that has worked for my ferrets. It has. We have done really well. I think just getting them off kibble in the first place has been a huge step. And it's, you know, it has been a really good thing for them to experience and go through and they are much healthier for it. Um, and here is Sammy and Yuki, they're both fat for winter now. They've fussed up a little bit. Look at their big tummies. They're so cute. Mm, beautiful babies. Yes, we are. The coats have gone really soft. We love touching them at the moment because they're just so fluffy and beautiful and soft. They always tend to fluff up in winter anyway. Just in the last week, They've fattened up quite a bit. I mean, look at Sammy. Look how fat he is. He always went really fat in winter, um, and he has done so again. <laughs> He's a bit less roly-poly than he normally was. 
but he's just so beautiful. But we haven't had any problems with him whatsoever. Um, he hasn't been on any meds. Uh, he hasn't had the surgery yet. Um, hasn't had an episode since we transferred him onto a raw food diet, which is very encouraging. Doesn't mean that he doesn't have insuloma. He probably still does. So once uh, our vet gets back from holiday, he will most probably have surgery. But in the meantime, he is looking and being very healthy. Aren't you, little man? Say hi to everyone. Hi, guys. Nope, I don't want to say hi. Hi, guys. Nope, I don't want to say hi. <laughs> say hi. Hi. <laughs> they all say hi to you guys. We're so healthy now. Ooh, family photo. So, yeah, that is pretty much all I have to say about the raw food diet. Let me know how you go transitioning your own ferrets onto a raw food diet or even just including more meats in their diet. I highly recommend it. It'll make them a lot help healthier. Um, and in regards to my own diet, last time I shared that I was doing a juice fast and turning vegan just to see how a, a diet appropriate for my own species, human species, would do for me. And I actually decided to do a longer than seven day juice fast. So today I'm on day 20 of my juice fast. And I feel fantastic. I have more energy than ever. Some, you know, I had a few health issues that were niggling at me and they seem to be clearing up now. So I'm really, really stoked about this juice fast. Highly recommend. Watch, um, watch Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead if you haven't seen it. You can actually watch it on YouTube for free. And it's a fantastic documentary about one guy's journey and, you know, he was pretty much heading towards death with his diet and killing himself slowly with his diet. So it's very inspiring. Um, so yeah, that's where I am at the moment. I'm finishing my juice fast on the 11th of June. And so this month, and I will tell you how it goes. After that, I'm going raw for a little while and then vegan. So I'll keep you in the loop. So some of the things that I've noticed with the change with just having raw uh, juices every day, raw juices and water, is that I've gotten a lot more mental clarity. I'm a lot more focused. I have heaps of energy. The first few days were horrible, just total detox, and I felt flat and you know got headaches and stuff like that. But now feeling fantastic. Miss food a little bit, but don't really need it. I've lost a lot of weight, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> Although after the juice fast, I'll probably put some on. So I just need to make sure that I do lots of exercise once I finish and hopefully maintain my weight. So yeah, that's about it for me today. I hope you enjoy it. Um, leave me lots of comments in, in the se comment section below. Subscribe to my channel because we are doing new videos every Monday, baby. We're getting back into it, so yeah. And subscribe to the newsletter because we're gonna be doing some really cool stuff soon with Ferret World. And I want to keep you in the loop because it's gonna be awesome. Awesome. Awesome.